Hi, right, it's Guesty here from Fishing World magazine. Well, we're at the boat ramp. Looking forward to a, a nice day out fishing. And the boat ramp's one place where you don't want to spend too much time and there's a right way and a wrong way to get your boat on and off the trailer. So first thing to do is get it into the right depth, back it down. We've got Jim Harmel there from Fishing World magazine who's going to uh, unlatch it. Now, what Wes is doing there, he's just checking out the depth. If you come to, especially to a foreign boat ramp or even a boat ramp you're used to using, there could be a foreign body like a, like a, a, a shopping trolley or anything that's been thrown in there. Check the depth, make sure that your uh, skeg's not going to hit the bottom of the boat ramp. You've got to remember as that boat comes off the trailer, uh, the stern of the boat is actually going to push down into the water as that boat comes away. So important, check that. Trim your motor to the right depth, not right down, but enough so that that prop can get enough bite in the water to hold the boat on the trailer when it goes into gear. Pretty simple process then, start the engine and allow it just to warm up enough so you're not going to spend too much time at the ramp, but just let, let that oil get moving around through the engine so everything's right to go. In gear and give it just enough throttle to hold enough weight forward on the trailer to allow uh, the other man at the other end, in this case it's a, it's a big Jim Harmel, the editor of Fishing World magazine, he'll unlatch the boat. Once that's unlatched, gives it the thumbs up, and it's just a simple matter, if you've got a nice slick trailer, the boat will probably roll away, or a little bit of reverse, as Wes is showing us there, and we're off the trailer. Simple as that. Once you've had your day out on the water, obviously the next job to do is get off the water. And it can be made really difficult by other conditions, such as sweeping currents through boat ramps, windy conditions. This morning it's pretty damn nice, nice and calm, so it makes it quite an easy job. Don't try and approach the trailer at any great speed, it's not a race, and all you're going to do is damage your trailer, your boat, or somebody standing around there. Make sure there's no children swimming, make sure you've got your engine trimmed up, and the trailer's in deep enough. Simply line the bow up, coming nice and steady, touch that front roller, that's the way to do it, perfect. In gear, ease the throttle up, and once again, it's not a race. Ease the throttle up, bow push up, and just hold it there. If you can't get it right up, that doesn't matter. But as I said, it's not it's not a race. Don't try and surge forward. You'll end up breaking somebody's hand. So the idea is now pull that winch back, get that winch hooked up nice and quickly, ratchet on, pull that boat up, and wait for the sign from your man who's on the winch. In this case, it's uh, Fishing World editor Jim Harmwell. Wind that up, thumbs up, into neutral. Turn the engine off, and of course, remember to put that safety chain on. And that's driving a boat onto a trailer made simple. That's the way to do it. Good luck, we'll see you out on the water.